After what seemed like a literal eternity of waiting, Valve just released a massive CS2 update with multiple gameplay changes and some very exciting things that the community is getting super hyped for. Let's get into it. Just hours before the update over on X, Valve teased a video of a player switching between left and right view models on Dust2. This led the community down a rabbit hole speculating of the upcoming changes. And when the update finally dropped, we got to see just how much Valve had actually changed in this update. As was expected based on that video, players can now switch between left and right view models in-game. But an even bigger surprise with this change that nobody is really talking about is that this change is networked so that other players can see you switching in-game when spectating. Another huge piece of news is that Overpass has been removed from the active duty map pool and been replaced by Dust2. This left a lot of people rejoicing, but it's also pretty surprising given that Vertigo is almost certainly the most unpopular map. The buy menu has also received a pretty big rework and now features a dropped weapons category so that you can easily see when players have dropped weapons around you and pick them up. It also now shows the minimum amount of money that you are guaranteed to receive in the next round to help you decide whether to buy or not. Alongside that, there are also multiple gameplay balances, like increasing the kill reward for the CZ and Zeus, and reducing the kill reward from $900 to $600 for the XM. Another lesser talked about fix is that Valve finally added the ability to queue with friends and party members for private and workshop maps in your lobby. This now works exactly as it did in CSGO, and you no longer have to do workarounds like port forwarding in order to queue a private lobby with your friends. They've also included a new utility lineup reticule with a set delay that you can customize in the settings that will pop up when throwing pieces of utility. This should make it a whole lot easier to get the perfect lineup for set flashes and set smokes. But perhaps the biggest piece of news that absolutely nobody has missed is the reintroduction of the Overwatch system. The community has been desperate for something to curb CS2's massive cheater problem and Overwatch might just be the first step in that direction. Simultaneously in this update, Valve have also made various changes to VACnet, Valve's in-house anti-cheat system. And what can be gathered on the information based on the strings is that the match will now be cancelled gracefully when irregular gameplay is detected. Whether this is the holy grail that we've been looking for remains to be seen, but it is most definitely a very, very positive step. All in all, this was a massive update with a lot to look forward to and hopefully some good things on the horizon. But I would be very interested to hear if this was enough to get you guys keen and motivated for playing CS2. If you liked the video, be sure to show it some love. I would also love to hear your comments down below. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one.